Hey guys! So today, I'm gonna help my husband build some bench table. It's for, I think, summer camp. Summer camp or for the summer. And this is what it looks like. This is where we're gonna build. It's just the, the start, what we're gonna do. And then this is what it looks like, like this, the table. That's where my husband made so far. But so today I'm gonna help him. So I'm gonna try cut metals got the metals so it'll be easier for him to do it like it give him more like uh, what do you call like uh, give, give a helping hand <laughs> of course you know from his wife <laughs> silly me <laughs> so this is what this is his their shop this is their shop, him and our foster parents. This is what his tools, their tools and things that they use in, in their shop. So, so, okay. <laughs> We're gonna go cut metal. So um, I'll see you guys in next video. Sure, it's up against. This one, this part. Take it off. Next, cut one more. So I'm cutting this middle for like 53 angle, 15 angle, oh, okay, 15 angle, this is for the legs, so here we go. Fifteen angle. Hi again. So guys, I already showed you what I did. I already cut uh, some of the fifteen uh, degree angle. For that's for the legs, and then 
so I'm going to show you guys this is for like the free cut for 60 bench table this is already free cut so all we got to do is assemble them this one here it's for 60 tables this is what we got to use this part here part of the metal so the one I cut earlier it's for the legs it's the like 15 degree angle that's for the legs that's the one I cut so all we gotta do is assemble it later I'm gonna show you what it looks like and what we gotta do so that's it guys stay tuned I'll see you in a bit I'll see you in the next video Hi on the other side. I think I put a hole in him. <laughs> Not good enough. Now my husband's going to weld the legs on the jig. I just practiced. <laughs> now he's going to do the welding. I can't do that. It's for the... <laughs> I can't do that one. Because <laughs> it's for the... Main event. <laughs> Now the legs is done, the one legs is done. I'm just going to clip it, clamp, clamp it, so I won't move. So it stays there. Now, he's gonna weld another legs, the other legs. Just like that one. Same as that one. I put my shades on so I won't burn my eyes. <laughs> Silly me. 
Always use protection. The second legs is done. Clamp it together again. What is that for? It's for... The hmm? Oh, that's what it's for. It's for the mill. Where you, where the table's gonna be. Like, put it on top, that's where the one is holding it for. That's it. That's for the middle. That's what it's for. That's what that this is what it looks like. In the middle. Put in the middle on the middle, another metal. No, it's gonna weld it together. That's where you, that's for the, what's that for? It's for the, that's, that's where the bench gonna be. Well, the other side. <laughs> Skips me. <laughs> We're putting it together, tucking it together.
So I did it up before welding. Make sure it's on place. Bulbol Award Parang <laughs> amoy sunog no? done not quite <laughs> make sure everything is welded just gotta make sure everything is been welded before you get it out make sure they're all welded they are all welded together So now guys, 
You see my what my husband did. That's where what you do to weld them together. So that's it. That's how you build a bench table. <laughs> that's how you weld I think. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next video. Oop, I forgot my glasses. <laughs> so, there you go guys. This is what it looks like when it's finished. Start welding, put some more weld on the middle. So, here it is, guys. So far, he welded five tables, bench tables. So, 60, 55 more to go. So it'll be 55 more bench table to go to weld. So, that's it guys. <laughs> I already showed you the one we were making today are my husband uh, welding today. I guess that's it for tonight or for day because it's already dark outside. <laughs> so hopefully you like it. <laughs> you like what I showed you.
to be your head. You see that, guys? How nice it looks. Hey, guys. So, today, we're gonna uh, do plasma cutting. It's a CNC plasma cutter. That's where it is. So now we put it in the computer. Where, what we're gonna do? We're gonna cut letter H. It's what's that called? Huddleston. It's Huddleston. So it's Huddleston. So this is the letter H we're gonna do with the plasma cutter. So now I'm gonna put it to zero to laser. And then I'm gonna press the cycle start. Now it's gonna start. So we're gonna start doing the plasma cutter. So here you go guys. Scary. Mm. <laughs> No, it's starting to cut me It's amazing how they built this plasma cutter. Doing all the work. Mm.
better. It's done. I think it's done the work. See it, guys? It's done. So we're done with the lure H. And then So now, this is what it built. This is what it made. This is what it cut from the plasma cutter, CNC plasma cutter. So that's it, guys. Hey, guys. So now we're done with the letter H, the Huddleston with the plasma cutter already cut it out and now I'm gonna go close it out and put another uh, 
load the G code or something they call that's what they call it but we gotta put like washita so now I'm gonna go close the G code close it up and then load the new code G code okay and then so now we put in uh, like washita g code so i'm gonna put it gonna start it out we're gonna start it out and press the zero the laser and then press the cycle start and now it's gonna start cutting amuna zero to laser tapo cycle start diba there you go We're making drone or stick. So that's what it is. There you go. Now we get the lake washita cut from the plasma cutter. Sweet. So now, guys, I'm going to show you what they built so far. At first, this is what they built. I mean, cut from the plasma cutter. This one. See them guys, that's what they cut from this plasma cutter. Whichever this is for the mailbox, that's what you're gonna 
order if you want it cut like that for the mailbox and that one if you got a resort that's what you're gonna build but order this one and here is the deer, deer head the deer head you see that guys how nice it looks that's one it's one of my favorite got from the plasma cutter and this one too is for mailbox and this one is from Campos Art for Campos Art and there's another one different one a bear whichever you like guys whichever you want you like to be cut from the plasma cutter those are what they cut so far from this awesome plasma cutter table plasma table those are what they cut from this plasma table plasma cutter see them guys it's awesome this is so cute one this is cute one And that one also. That one. And this one. If you want it by your house or this one is nice one also. <laughs> we don't call 911. <laughs> Silly. Yeah. This is what cut from the plasma cutter that's one that one is nice also put them by the lake or put them by the river that one is awesome bass fish this one and this one that's where it it goes to our mailbox that's the one my husband got from the plasma cutter it goes to our mailbox. That's our mailbox. That's the example. There you go. It's a bear. And this one also is for your mailbox or for the gate, whichever you like. So, that's what it's for, guys. And there's some more. I'm going to show you this one. Wolf, kind of like the Lobo from the Philippine movie series. <laughs> There's the Odin for the Odin school, and then there's another one the one that we painted last time the Osage. <laughs> And there is another one. There's some more that they cut from the plasma cutter. Did a good job. And there's one more. It's a barn. There's another one also. So guys, that's why it goes. That way it goes. That's what it is that's what they cut so far my husband and my foster parents do did less that's the one they cut so far they're all cut from this plasma cutter plasma table this plasma table cnc plasma table plasma cutter what they call it whatever you call it, whichever you call it. <laughs> so that's from the Lake Washita. That's the uh, pattern. So that's it, guys. <laughs> hey, guys. I'm making me banana bread. So now I already put in 
the flour, baking soda, and salt. It's two cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon baking soda, and one fourth teaspoon salt. So I already mixed it in in there. And now I put three fourth cup brown sugar and then half cup butter. I already melted in. So now I'm gonna cream it together with the brown sugar, mix it together. Still hot, a little hot. So I'm gonna mix it in, mix them in. I'm gonna get me some something to stir it with. So here you go, guys. I'm gonna stir it, stir them. Cream it together. Till it well blended. It's all blended up and I'm gonna get me two eggs and beat in and then two and one third cups of mashed overripe bananas. So So here you go guys, this is I think 2 and 1 third cups mashed overripe bananas. It's equivalent I guess 3 pieces of bananas. Mash it up, mash it up, mash them together. Mash them together, mash, mash. Roll mash it, roll mash it. Gonna make sure it's well mashed so it's easier for you to mix it with the green all ingredients. Mash it good. So now I got the bananas mashed. So I got the two eggs, beat them together. And then
stirred them together with brown sugar. Stir them together with brown sugar. All the ingredients with the banana, banana egg, brown sugar, and butter. Mix them together well. There we go, guys. Mix them well till it's well blended. Now it's already mixed up. Then we get to pour in the butter mixture, the banana mixture, into flour mixtures. Then mix them all together, stir them all together till it's well blended. Mix it real good. Till it's well blended together. <laughs> And then and the grease grease bin. So now I'm going to put it on a loaf pan. Just 
Oops, it breeze low fan. I don't know if I'm gonna make it too. Make it to bake. Make it to cooking or do two baked ones. Don't want it too full, so I'll make it to into two. banana bread so I'm gonna preheat the oven in 350 degrees 175 Celsius so I'm gonna start preheating the oven to 350 degrees so put the, I'm gonna put the butter into the oven so that's it guys so hopefully it do good this is my first time making baking banana bread so I'll see you next video I'm gonna show you what it I made nice to meet you. Ooh, so there you go guys so I already cook it so I right cook now. it 60 to 65 minutes so now it's good it's my first time cooking it so hope you like it and subscribe to my channel if you like some more recipes <laughs> that I'm gonna cook so that's it guys I showed you how, how what I made it's a banana bread my first homemade baked banana bread here you go guys bon appetit thank you thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye guys